Good morning, I hope you're doing okay. Uh, this is my morning walk. I go on this trail for about an hour and a half every single morning. And why am I even talking about that? Because today we're gonna do a vlog. We're gonna showcase uh, the entire day of what my days have been looking like. They've been very routine and I have like two or three different routines that I've been doing uh, depending on what I need to get done that day. And right now I'm doing a lot of art. I'm actually working on an NFT project and it requires a lot, a lot of drawing. So today's gonna be one of those chill with me videos. So if you're drawing yourself or doing something that doesn't require your full attention, this will be a great video just to have kind of playing in the background. Or you can watch the whole thing and every second of it and soak in all the pretty things that exist around me like this trail that's actually 710 miles. Also, a lady stopped me and she was like, have you seen the big bird? And I was like, is that a religion that you're trying to get me to join? And she was like, no, there's literally like a five foot bird walking around here. She, it's as tall as I am, so keep an eye out. And I was like, wow, I've never seen that, but if I can find the mysterious big bird on this 710 mile trail, that would be pretty exciting. So yeah, let's, oh wait, the best part of this trail, the squirrels. So usually when I get back, my fiance is still sleeping, so I am going to do a voiceover <laughs> instead of actually recording in real time because I don't want to disrupt her. Uh, first of all, I got a cat. <laughs> I should probably show more of that because uh, yeah, he's been a pretty big part of our lives recently, but uh, every day I recently have been trying to draw four new characters for this big NFT project I have. I'm basically dropping a hundred new characters. So today uh, the goal is to design five new ones. And I'm basing these off of something that I'll mention later. There's like a theme to all of it, uh, but I wanna reveal what that theme is because I think it's really fun to kind of be like, yeah, these are inspired by this certain thing that you're, I, I think especially people closer to my age are just gonna love. This is definitely the part of my day that's gonna take the most time for sure because designing the characters isn't really the hard part. Uh, ironically, I can sketch them pretty quickly, but putting them into Procreate and making sure that they're like perfectly drawn and perfectly dimensioned, colored, shaded, etc., is definitely what takes the most time. This second character is based off uh, like something electronic. Again, I, I promise I'll reveal soon what these are what these are modeled after. I'm just not sure if I can do it for this video, uh, but this character is based off something electronic, so I, I gave them the face, uh, basically of like a robot, right? The eyes are going to be, you know, more electronic, and then just like, I, I just gave them a hoodie for no reason. It took me like four tries to figure out what kind of hat I wanted them to wear, and I just felt like the round hoodie gave me like a nice, comfortable uh, symmetry, I guess. And then I try to give them uh, somewhat like of a scary face and then, uh, it, I don't know, like sharp edges, but with a round head. So it's like cute, but at the same time it feels aggressive. And then I, I try, try to get it to hold like a, a diary basically, and yeah. For the next character, I had no idea where I was starting, but uh, I wanted it to look like someone who was shopping in the 80s, basically. Uh, and, and I felt like art back then was nothing like this, so just trying to think of like, maybe like a stereotypical, uh, you know, like how media would identify like a mall rat kid, but trying to chibify it and make it kind of like, uh, you know, work with today's standards, I guess. This character ended up being something completely different. Um, you're gonna see, but uh, I, I completely basically moved its eyes to a different location and I thought it made it look way cooler. Um, I, you know, I, starting off with this one, it looked, it ends up looking nothing like how I thought it was going to at the beginning, I, like nothing. Like what I used for the glasses ended up being the shoulder blades, what I used for the legs uh, ended up being like underwear. <laughs> like I just like, went off the rails with this one and I love how that works out sometimes. And th this one I think is the most like spontaneous creativity uh, where it ended up being nothing like I imagined when I started picturing it at the beginning. And for the fifth character, uh, this one was really hard to do. I, I, I just, I couldn't think of how I wanted to display. Okay, so the thing that these characters are based off, uh, I'm not gonna be too specific, but it's based off like 
one item. So I have to basically look at this one item and think, how can I design a character from this? So by the time the character's done, some of them like, people are gonna be like, wait, how does this have anything to do with that? But that, that was the point. I don't want them to be too on the nose. I want it to be like, whoa, this one random thing inspired this character? That's so random. Like, it, you know, for an example, like a chair. Like, I'll have a character based off a chair, but by the end of it, it'll look nothing like a chair. And that, to me, is like the, the cool part, like how far your brain can stray away uh, when designing or creating from the original inspiration. And, and that's kind of the point with these. You know, you never wanna draw something so exact. You never wanna, you, you always wanna have multiple references so that you are not just biting off someone's style. Uh, and for all of these characters, it was really fun because none of these character shapes that I drew today look anything like any of the characters that inspired the drawings. Sometimes I would look at, you know, ironically, the fourth guy I created looks like he would be in the Ninja Turtles. And he literally looks like a, a, a compilation of like four Ninja Turtles characters, but in no way, I, I didn't look at any references. I didn't even think about Ninja Turtles. And I'm like, oh my God, he looks like, like, you know, one of the ninjas, he looks like one of the bad guys, like the brain bad guy, he kind of looks like the big baby bad, like that was totally by accident. And I think that's maybe, maybe my subconscious coming in going like, he needs shoulder blades and maybe that was inspired from Ninja Turtles. But yeah, the last character, totally aloof, just made him look, I, I, and I, I definitely, needed to give all of them way more, wait, what? Definitely needed to give all of them a completely different uh, facial expression. That's another point of the 100 characters. They all convey a different feeling uh, because you know, there's, there's thousands of feelings you can draw. I think five of these characters like would work really well together and be a, you know, it's a, fu a more fun story when the personalities are so different. Um, yeah. So the goal for the sketches was to get them done before lunch. And right now it's 11, usually lunch around one. So I'm two hours ahead, which is good. Uh, but now I'm gonna get to the part that actually takes way longer, which is the actual like finalizing, coloring, etc. I'm gonna do it on the iPad. Um, but yeah, for me, it's much easier to sketch with a pencil than it is with the iPad. I don't know why. I think it's just like a, you know, it's quick and easy. You can erase really quickly. You can also do that with the iPad, but there, I don't know. It's just, I've realized that I genuinely think uh, digital is harder, but digital gets the exact lines. It's much easier to do like a perfect circle, a perfect line or a curve because it just like locks it into place. So to do the final designs is much easier on this. Uh, but yeah, let's get started. Um, this will probably take four, three, four hours, I would say. I think each character takes um, almost an hour. So. I don't know, I'm just gonna try to do it faster. And now that I've done 30 of these, it really is coming much faster. These sketches took about one tenth of the time that the first five sketches took. So let's do this.
usually my food schedule is pretty strict just because, uh, you know, I, I've been a lot about fitness recently. Uh, so it's 1.30, which is insane that I finished these five by 1.30, but I should be already eating lunch by now. Um, but I'm really proud of how these turned out. Uh, they're, they're all relatively close to the same size. Um, but yeah, the final version of some of these looks so much better than the sketch in my opinion. Like I think the Christmas tree thing, whatever that is, actually kind of looks like a lot of things. I don't know, that just feels like a very familiar type toy, like one of those squeezy toys. Um, and it's weird because I'm like, I'm not looking at these things for inspiration, they just kind of turn out similarly. Like this, the, the, the like egg shaped guy, <laughs> this guy, it looks like, like an X-Men with like, I don't know, I love the fact that it turned out the way that it did. Uh, it's like a very like American feeling, obviously like this cool guy with a square head shooting the ball. Like I'm, I'm, I, this one might be one of my favorite I don't know, like sophisticated type character designs. It's not sophisticated, but compared, I don't know. It's just cool. I don't know. I feel like all of these could have like maybe their own shows or be like kind of a B character. <laughs> I'm kind of gassing them up a little more than I, I'm meaning to right now, but I, I'm, I'm pumped. I really like the, uh, like the robot slanted eyes like thing. I think that's cool. And then of course, like the mall rat with all the money. I think that's just like kind of funny and I, it feels very like, old school, like this, cause this is kind of actually based off an of old school idea. That's why it's like, it looks totally like a kid who went to the mall in the nineties, I guess. Um, but I'm juiced. I, I'm really stoked that these, like somehow I did five characters in about three and a half hours. And usually five characters would take me almost 10 hours. Like it, it's almost like two hours each. And, and it doesn't feel that like way when I'm doing it, it, it feels so quick. Um, but yeah, and this is the point usually when I would jump on the treadmill, but it's like 65 degrees outside and I'm like, I should just go for a walk, but it takes an extra 30 minutes and time is important, but also fitness is important. So maybe I'll go for an hour long walk instead of doing 30 minutes on the treadmill. <laughs> And here we are, round two on this walk. Uh, I have a lot to say, and I'm gonna make the most out of this walk by talking about a few things that, I've, that have been on my mind, including the title of this video, basically being unemployed, which is kind of a new endeavor. Now there's, there's multiple things about that that seem confusing. Obviously, I'm technically a YouTuber for a living. I technically do have a contract for I think a few more months with Squarespace uh, to do brand deals here and there. This is not an ad, I'm just saying that's, that's a contract that I signed, uh, which is like two videos a month. Um, but after that, I'm like, yeah, we're cutting it pretty, we're cutting it pretty tight because for me in my life, I've always been very much okay with like having nothing. <laughs> um, and then obviously once you have stuff, it's a lot harder to like let it go in a sense. It's harder to not have anything, clearly. But for me, I've been feeling recently like, well, if I have to do more of what I'm doing to get more out of my life, I would rather not get more out of my life. I don't want to do more of this because I'm growing so incrementally in so many ways that I have zero good feelings in my heart when something good happens. If I have a video that does well, if I have a video that does bad, it feels no different to me. And once that kind of happened, we're like, it, seriously, I could think of how to make a good video. I could think of how to make a creative video and the views just didn't do anything to me. Like I could, I, I, it just, it didn't dictate my emotions. And I realized that that's something that I no longer care about. So that's why my channel has been all over the place recently. And that's why people, I'm trying to have a consistency because I want people to, obviously who subscribed to feel good and enjoy. And I don't want to talk too much about YouTube and all that stuff, but that was the whole point of the title of this video was the fact that this is like me basically being an unemployed artist and me trying to figure out how I could make a living doing something that seems fun with a much higher ceiling, obviously, than something like skateboarding, which is a very low ceiling. And I feel like I, I got super lucky in that industry and I was able to climb pretty damn high. And I'm like, I wanna see if I can climb higher in other industries that I never even thought someone like me could do. And that art is one of those things. I didn't grow up thinking that someone like me or anyone in my community could be an artist because it was like the rich boy thing to do. And now I'm like, wait, why wouldn't I do those things? And one part of this walk that I'm trying to do is listen to the book, Think and Grow Rich. Now I know some people cringe at the idea of like business books, etc. But I heard the statistic that a lot of people who grow up in a certain class 
genuinely never get out of that class or get out of the mindset that makes them feel oppressed in that class. And it's something that I really, really struggle with. I'm a judgmental asshole sometimes about things that just seem like, that's what rich people do. I'll get really angry. A lot of people in my family are still like that. They always talk trash and it's like, a kid could just be born with money. That's totally fine. And my family would be like, screw that kid. And I'm like, that seems kind of harsh. That seems really judgmental. So now I'm trying to change my mind and do the impossible, which is have a more naturally optimistic mindset towards everything. It can be difficult. So I'm gonna leave, listen to this book. I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna keep working because I got so much I wanna do. So pumped in my life. I don't know, hopefully this is like, hopefully you're a little juiced <laughs> to go out there and get some. Okay, I'm gonna fix my uh, YouTube channels right now. I'm gonna make uh, the profile pictures and everything as obvious as humanly possible. This is my skateboarding channel. Look, it's a skateboard. So I'm gonna make this so obvious because I have been changing the names and stuff that my literal skate channel is gonna be called John Hill Skate, and then my art channel is gonna be called John Hill Art. <laughs> and it's literally gonna be a picture, me and my skateboard, and the other one is gonna be me and markers. And it's just, it, that's it, and the, th the banner, I'll show you. Okay, so how does it look? Here's the profile picture for my art account, profile picture for my skate account. Uh, here is the banner for my skate account, and here's the banner for my profile, or my art account. I think it's good. I'm like really tired. I think the day just hit me all at once. Both, uh, you know, I've been walking for like two and a half hours. I'm probably gonna do one more cardio session uh, because uh, I actually was doing a lot of upper body workouts and I was, I was doing it. I was getting, I was feeling good. And then this happened. And now I literally can't do anything with my upper body and it's been like a week and a half and it still hasn't healed, which is actually really crazy. So doing push-ups is painful and I don't wanna mess it up by trying to do pull-ups or anything upper body. So I'm just working out cardio style right now, but doing a lot of it. Uh, also, I listened to an hour of that book. I officially went through the first hour uh, and basically a lot of books like that spend so much time convincing you to listen. Uh, and for me, I was trying to be like, okay, just, just <laughs> listen to the book, don't be judgmental and go with it. And uh, I found something, the most powerful thing that I think it said is that basically if you have a negative mindset towards money and you, and you resent money and you think money is like whack and talking about money is whack, obviously you're never going to make it, right? Like how, why, like it, you're not going to be ambitious to make money if you hate money. Uh, and I thought that was kind of cool. So with me, it's like, you know, slowly hacking that, slowly being like, money's not bad. Money's not bad, and just telling myself that over and over. Um, and then, yeah, that should make me more confident in my ambitions moving forward. So, anyways, uh, what's next? to-do list is to uh, do a little more cardio. So thanks to Sarah Dici, we actually have a Peloton bike. Uh, and with this every night, I usually just hit up to 250 calories. Like I just try to burn that. Um, it's probably obviously a little less because machines like to exaggerate, um, but it's a, good, it's a good workout at night and it makes me feel, you know, like I had a full day. So uh, uh, right here, I guess I'm just gonna end it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you did enjoy uh, this type of video, like the vlog and kind of sh showcasing everything I'm doing because Right now I am focused on the NFT project and when I'm done with this, I'll probably get back on it and draw like two or three more tonight, but it's around 6 p.m. It's about the time I eat dinner and then I just try my best to relax, which is very difficult for me. But uh, yeah, it gives me a couple hours at night just to kind of chill. And honestly, all the stuff I did today, even though it's technically work, it's technically me trying to get to the next stage, it's all things that I enjoy doing. Uh, and tomorrow, I'll probably just skate. So I'm gonna make a skate video for the Progress Daily channel. And honestly, right now, why do I keep saying honestly? Why am I trying to film right now? Thank you so much for tuning in. 
take care, progress daily, and keep killing it.